everyone, Pam Savage with Young at Heart Creations. I got started painting on this uh, blank from Tamara Bennett. I've painted it two or three different ways. I've painted it with just red geraniums uh, and then with pink flowers, but tonight I'm going to try to do it patriotic. I'd already started on it and then I thought Whoa, this would be something fun to do live so I just stopped where I was and started it um, and just decided that I would finish it with you guys here tonight live let me get you pulled up on Facebook so I can see comments say hello and who you are and where you are from once you hop on okay I think I've got you there all right, so what I've done so far, I just gave it a, a good coat of white uh, on, on this side. And I've base coated the blue. I did not realize it until I got through the first coat of it that I was using uh, Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Surface. So it's uh, Multi-Surface, and it's uh, got a little bit of a different feel to it, but I think it's going to do just fine. I thought I was grabbing my Midnight Blue, but... I think it's going to work just fine. So I've got all of that base coated. And then where I'm going to put red. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Miss Lynn. Uh, where I'm going to put red, I went ahead and did a gray background. Red just covers better with gray. So let's see what we can do with this. I think this is the last patriotic thing. I might have one more that, that we'll do. Um not sure yet hi pamela thanks for hopping on if y'all don't mind if you would hit that sprinkle button and throughout the video if you like the project uh throw me some little hearts i would appreciate that as well i got two more um followers this week so i'm up to 815 my goal is to do my very best to get uh through the end of this year to have a thousand so but the next time we get to the next hundred which will be 900 I'll send out some more happy mail so I'm excited about that but before we get started um, you guys know that I'm from Texas um, and our state is in mourning right now I'm not gonna say a lot more about that because this is gonna happen <laughs> I finally just had to pull myself away from the TV and say I need to go paint for some therapy, but um, I will say it as many times um, as we need to, and I'm not, I don't care who gets offended. Uh, our prayers and our thoughts are with those families and everybody involved. I mean, there's just so many people that are going to have to be dealing with it down there and things that they're going to have to be dealing with, the cleanup, the, uh, just so many things. So my heart is there. Um, this is just a moment to get away from all of that. So um, I'm going to do my best to be happy on here. So uh, me being on here painting tonight does not mean that I don't care. Um, I finally had to had to get away from it a little bit. And um, so let's make this a happy hour, hour and a half. I'm sure it'll be an hour and a half. Y'all know me. <laughs> I'm not a fast one. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you down. Hi, Laura. Hello, hello. All right, let me bring you down here, and I'll try to keep you in camera. I know I'm terrible about that sometimes. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and start on the um, the red. I'm going to use tomato red over a gray sky uh, for the red stripes. Now, I will tell you, I, at first, I painted the gray, and I was not paying attention to what I was doing, and it's supposed to be red, white, red. Well, I was red, white, red 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 white so i skipped i skipped one and it was all off so i had to paint it white again and then redo my stripes and these are just free-handed stripes so they're not going to be perfect which is just fine so if i can get this open there we go so um Nose is running today. It's just been an emotional day and an emotional week the last three days, as you all know. So I apologize for the, the runny nose already. But we are going to get this done. And I hope it turns out the way <laughs> I'm envisioning it. Uh, because I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I have not painted one 
uh, with these colors and, and with this design. But let's let's see what we could do. Hi, Miss Pam. <laughs> well, they're not perfect. I did take a ruler and just uh, lightly trace them off, but um, I didn't stay in the lines with them. But I'm not trying to be. Um, I don't want it to be per this one to be look like it's perfect. None of mine are ever perfect, but I don't mind this one being a little bit off. All right, so this is a glossy blue. That uh, multi-service, it's got a gloss to it. Okay, I think I'm going to start in the middle here and work my way out. i got to be careful. I'm, I've got a soft bristle angle brush. And you have to really be careful because they will... Um, fan out on you and you'll lose your line. And this, uh, let's see, the red I'm using, again, is Tomato Red Deco Art. And uh, I absolutely love its coverage. It, it just covers so well, especially when you... Um, throw that gray underneath it. Just a light gray, usually just one or two coats of that gray. And you've got it. <clears throat> I'm not putting much pressure on it because I want to stay as close to the line as I can, but I'm, I'm not going to worry if I get a little bit out. I say that. And then if I do, I'll look at it and I'll look at it and I'll end up fixing it. <laughs> Y'all know my, my OCD. may just take one coat of it. All right, I am a directional painter. I do turn my pieces, so I apologize in advance if that makes you dizzy. And wow, my pink fingernail polish does not really go with the red that we're doing tonight. <laughs> I didn't color coordinate. This blank is uh, one of Tamara Bennett's with um, Southern Adornments Decor. Let me grab a wet wipe. I think I got some on my finger. Southern Adornments Decor and shopdoorhangers.com is her website that you can purchase the blank. She's got lots. Oh my goodness, I don't know how many blanks she's got. And I've painted so many of her blanks. They are um, MDF, the wood, and they paint it very nicely. She is the one that is having the live event in Dallas on July the 15th and 16th. You've still got time to get a ticket for that if you have not already. It is going to be so much fun. I am really excited. I'm excited for it to get here, but then I'm not excited for it to end. It's kind of like Christmas. You wait a whole year, and then in no time at all, it's done. <laughs> we got a doctor report on our... Grand, expected grandbaby. Doctor said he is uh, turned to head down position, getting ready. Now she's got another month to go, so I told her he needs to slow down. We have a wedding to go to. Um, our nephew, our great nephew, on. Um, the 18th. So I hope that 
he doesn't come until we get back. I'm so nervous about it. And I'm sticking my hand in that red. Probably should have gone this way. That would have been smarter. Started here and worked my way over. Anybody else painting patriotic or have you moved on? I heard that uh, Hobby Lobby has their fall items rolling out already. I haven't been to ours in a week, so they probably are. I'm going tomorrow. have to get a gift. No, I'm being persnickety with these drops. I don't know why it's... Okay, there. I didn't want to cover. Okay, now it's starting to look patriotic. Oh, over a month ago. Wow, I think they're still having trouble getting things, so they're trying to make their shelves look full. Hi, Laura. Oh, I wish you could join us, too. Hi, Miss Dietra. Hi, Mom. You're painting the letter J while watching. It's for your oldest granddaughter. Oh, that's fun. I love painting the initials. Three months old, Laura. They're so much fun. I cannot, cannot wait. This is a Royal Lane Nickel half inch um, angle brush. I was about to get carried away with it. Those soft bristles, you have to be careful because if you give it pressure, it really spreads out. Kind of like a soft bristle toothbrush versus a stiff one or medium just a lot of difference I like it I just have to remember what I'm using so that I don't paint where I don't want to Let me dry these other red ones so I don't get my hand run across them. Hey, hey, Miss Dietra. I'll see you at the live event. That multi-purpose has a, a glossy shine to it. That I wasn't expecting. Yeah, normally I would be picking this up to me, bringing it to me, because it is a little bit bigger piece. But I'm trying to keep it down where you can see. And these leaves are attacking me. They're pointy up here and they're attacking me. My grandson Logan came over Tuesday and spent the day with me while his mom took her grandmother to the doctor for a procedure and um, he watched a couple of movies with me. He's not really a movie watcher so I was surprised but he watched Honey I Shrunk the Kids and then Honey I Blew the Kids Up. And um, he loved them. 
He was so funny with his comments about them. And but he sat there through the both movies while we played. I mean, we were playing tic-tac-toe. And then I showed him how to play the dot game where you connect to make boxes. And every time you make a box, you get to put your initial in it. So he was excited to show me how he could write his name. Now close up, these lines look a little wavy to me, but once you get everything on it and you get it um, shaded and put it on the door or your wall where it's not just right in front of you under the, the judging lights. I guess you would call them. Um, it'll do. Uh, it it won't look that way at all. Anytime you're working with something on white. That white will show any little extra stuff you get over the line. I mean, it really shows. We are leaving for Laurel, Mississippi for vacation in a few days. Can't wait. I get to stop by on the way and see... Um, Erica Wallace with Wallace House Designs. I will get to see Christy Rayner. She is one of the members of the Painters Clubhouse with uh, Tamara. We call ourselves PC Sisters. Several of you on here are PC Sisters. So I'm anxious to get to see her. And of course I love, always love seeing their kids. All right, once we get to the flowers, it'll be much faster. Let me dry that stripe. I've got, got to run and get groceries for myself and my mom tomorrow. And our Walmart is totally remodeling. Nothing is where it used to be. And right now where they're putting some of the things, I guess it's just temporary until they get the shelves all done. But it doesn't make any sense. This is an exaggeration, but just to, you know, let you know, like, okay, the tanning lotion over in the tomatoes. The I mean, it's that crazy. <laughs> right now and you're like where is this I love walking in and just knowing where everything is don't change it up on me I mean it takes you an hour longer just to find everything okay just a couple more And then we will work on um, our red flower. Since we've already got a red out. My goal for next month is to go live at least 10 times next month, at least. Got a lot going on next month. 
including a new grandbaby. But I'm going to do my best. I don't know what times it will be. It'll just, it may be midnight. Why not? But I'm going to do my best to, to do that. Once a week just isn't enough. I get to missing you. I really do get to missing you. And, um, but before it's like, okay, what am I going to paint? What am I going to paint? I don't know. I don't know. Do I have enough projects? What can I do? And I've got enough projects lined up that I think I can go 10, 10 times. Maybe even more. May not be all painting. It may be some napkin work. Just see a couple of spots. I really think it's more the light than anything, but just to be sure. My hubby's going to mow the yard here in just a little bit as soon as he gets off, so we may hear the lawn more in a little bit. He's got to get it mowed since we're going to be gone. I do have people coming to check on our house and get our mail. and um, I don't like just leaving the house alone. So I always get somebody to pop in and out at different times. All right, that had a little bit of little fleck of something in it. Let's see if I can get it out. I think it's actually a piece of glitter. And it is from when I was glittering something the other day. So let me grab a Q-tip and see if we can get that off of that white. And yes, I'm getting the Q-tip wet with my spit. <laughs> the enzymes in your spit do help take the paint off. All right, let's try that and put a second coat on it. I have not been real careful with the edges. There's several places that when I got it in the mail, our mail people, not Tamara, that had been a little rough with it and broke one of the leaves off in, in a couple of spots. So I'm going to have to touch it up anyway. So I'll just go around it with either a black marker or just some black paint real quick. flower. Let's see if I can bring you down just a little more, a little closer. Don't know if it's going to let me, I'm afraid it's going to fall completely. Okay, I think that's about the, as close as I can get you tonight. start with a little round just a little small round brush just to get in these tiny little spots here
just where the leaf meets the flower. I could also take a smaller angle brush and get in it. This is working. And then we'll just paint right over it. Hi, Miss Wanda and Jean. Hello, Denise. I talked to Dean today just to check on him. Hi, Melinda. I did not realize he'd been in the hospital again. Dean is one of my cousins. Since I've got this round out, I'm just going ahead and outlining kind of around it. And that'll help me just fill it in. with my larger brush. It's so satisfying to me to see a color going on, you know, filling it in, how it just instantly transforms it. I don't think you're in camera for that one. The one, the same blank that I did with the red uh, hydrangeas in it, I did the bottom in um, black and white buffalo plaid. All The planter was all black and white buffalo plaid and then had um, a separate piece of wood that said welcome across. And then the other one, they were all pink. The flowers were red in that one and then the other one, the flowers were pink in it. This was an etched piece, so it had the pattern already etched out on it. Okay, I think we are good. Let's go ahead and just do it around this one since we're doing that. I already got the brush out. and just fill it in and then we'll start putting our flower details on probably go ahead and do the leaves first I stayed up way too late last night trying to get VBS lessons ready because the week after we come back, or maybe it's the next week, but we've got a lot going on, so I was just getting nervous that I wasn't going to get it done, so I stayed up um, 
most of the night last night working on VBS stuff, getting things cut out and and ready. And of course, we'll have to decorate the building. Our theme this year is Fearless Faith. I can't tell what all the decorations are going to be because it's a surprise for several of them and some of them get on here, so I won't ruin the surprise. Last year, um, it was about creation. And, oh my goodness, the, um, they had a huge mountain and a big ark and every day and, and water, lots of, of, looks like water made out of cardboard and waves and every day that they came in the ark rose another two to three feet. The water got higher. There was more water in, talking about the flood. And um, maybe that's what it was the, about the flood. I didn't get to do it last year, so I wasn't sure. Oh, yes, I did. I helped. I didn't get to teach. But um, so the, the ark rose. Every day they came in, the ark was higher. And the way that... Um, we did it, we got a super tall ladder, and I'm still not sure exactly how they did it, but they they rigged it so that every day we could raise it higher, and the kids just got the biggest kick out of that, and they were just amazed at how, you know, what happened, how did that art get higher, and especially the little ones. Okay, let's dry that and put a second coat right in here. I got a little bit too much water, so I'm going to put a second coat on it. But their little faces were just adorable. And then um, our dining area, they turned it into, the, they made it look like the inside of the ark. And they got the neatest animal heads and things that were looking inside the ark. And uh, the two ladies were two of the wives on the ark and they dressed the part and it was just, it was fascinating. Every day they had a new little kind of a skit or whatever with the everybody preparing everything in the ark and showed how much it took to, and all the food was laid out and it looked like as close to biblical food as you could get from the Bibles and I mean from the Bible and um, well, the kids were just mesmerized and they learned so much. They definitely knew who Noah was, who God was, and um, about the flood when they left at the end of the week. We like to really start, we start them in cradle roll. Uh, and I usually teach the twos and threes. And um, by the time they leave, the twos and threes and go upstairs to the fours and fives um, they can say the books of, or sing the books of the New Testament they can my two-year-olds can memorize um, mem little memory verses and quote them so it's just amazing they're just little sponges I love it I think I've told you on here before, one year I used one of the a big paper cutout that was, um, I used it as Moses in a story at the beginning of the year. And then at the end of the year, I don't remember what Bible character it was, but I used him in another story in one of the two-year-olds corrected me and said, no, that's not Peter or Paul, whoever I was using it for. That's Moses. You said that was Moses. That was a year later. <laughs> the child remembered that I had used him as Moses. So you may think they're not listening, but they are. 
They learn a whole lot more than we give them credit for. Okay, I think our red is covered on that. And I may need to do one more little coat of white on this one. I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. And then we'll put the leaves on. But let me go ahead and put another little coat of white on here. Get another brush. I don't want to risk. Don't want to risk some of that red coming out. So I'm going to go with just a little bit larger angle brush, and then we'll. I like the ceram coat white. I think it covers really, really well. Okay, this is a three-quarter inch um, angle. And I'm just going to put another coat on here right quick. It may have been okay. It may just be my ring light making it look like it was showing through. But in the center part there, it just looked like it was a little bit, a little thin. And I'm not worried about getting on this leaf because we're going to come across, I mean, come over it with green. spot in there that just didn't look like it was covering. Okay, and let's get that dry so I'm not smearing it everywhere. working I didn't get to do VBS and I missed it so much yeah we've got COVID going around again here hi Kim threes and fours yeah the two-year-olds twos and threes two to five-year-olds um, you learn a whole lot that you do <laughs> You just never know what they're going to say. I had one one morning. I said, okay, what did everybody have for breakfast? And one of the two-year-olds two said, we never have breakfast. My mama never feeds us. And I happen to know this family, and I know that couldn't be further from the truth. My mama never feeds us. Okay, I'm going to go with Avocado Green Deco Art. For the leaves. And I think I'm going to go with a round brush. I take that back. Let's try, let's try just a little bit smaller angle brush. This is a 3 8 inch and it's the low Cornell. Let's see what it does. It's almost looking like a kind of circusy, but we're gonna add some things to it that I hope will bring it all together. Okay, yeah, that's pretty. I didn't want a real bright, bright, bright green with the colors that we're doing. And then when we get all of our shading and everything on, I think it's gonna look really nice. Now an 
angle brush is just that. It's angled. See how it goes down? The tall part is called the toe, and then the low part is called the heel. And that toe helps you get into corners, tight spots. And you probably can't see the etching on this because I'd already painted it, but um, there's just a tiny little line that's laser etched in the um, in the design. I can still see it, but it it just barely barely shows up. All right, let me dry those because I know I'm gonna drag my arm across it. I'll just go ahead and put a second coat on them. I'm hearing that shelves may be going a little bare again with some things going on. I'm not a hoarder, but I do like to stock up on some things. Second coat makes all the difference in the world. You know when you're painting your house and you put the first coat on the walls? And you look at them and you go, no, that's not the color I chose. It doesn't look anything like I picked out. and. But once it dries and you put that second coat on there, it just, it makes all the difference. And the trick is not to try to get full coverage on the first coat. Put a light coat. Now you've got some colors that will color, and will cover sometimes in, a, in just one coat. But if it's not, just let it be. Okay, let's go ahead and do these and then I'll do this one. So I can lean over it. Just let it be and then um, make sure it's good and dry and put that, just put a second coat on there and it'll look so much better. And again, I'm not being careful with these edges because I know I'm going to go around it with some black paint or a marker. Typically, um, you will have the black on a uh, laser cut. The edge is already black on it. And if you're careful, then you've got already got a black edge and you don't have to worry about it. But it's an easy fix if you get paint on the edges. You can use a black permanent marker uh, or a Posca pen. I typically just go around with a flat brush and, and just wipe it on there. Okay, now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go right over, I've got two leaves here. So I can start in this one if I want to, to get that edge on this one. once we get our design in the flower they'll start looking like flowers right now they kind of look like different color popcorn because this looks like a popcorn box
I'm standing it up on its chisel edge to get right down in that corner or that point. Off the edge there. Y'all know we just got back from a trip for family reunion. So I had to unload the suitcases, get everything washed, and then pack it back in. So I'm almost packed. My husband got a nice surprise. Their boss contacted them. Getting down in that little edge there. And told them they could have Friday off, tomorrow off. So that's going to help. He can go ahead and get some things done. Finish up the, the yard. Before we leave, he hates. I can't stand to leave the house out of order. My kitchen has to be clean. I have to have the house clean before we go on a trip. I want all the laundry done. I want to come back to a clean house. And that's the way he is about his yard. He does not like the yard looking unmowed at all. And it will when he gets back. So that'll be one of the first things he does is tackle the yard. I'm going to put a second coat. Now see how yucky those leaves look with just that first coat? That looks awful. And you think, ooh. But then when you get that second coat on, let me take that little round brush and get down in that tip. And then we'll get some little shading done on them. All right, I'm going to do, use this little round brush to get down in this tip point of the leaf. That works much better in the in the tip. Go ahead and get that one started. to paint something Christmas here pretty soon. I've been, I don't know why, but anxious to get started on some Christmas things. So if Crystal's on here, I know she's loving to hear that. She fusses at me all the time because I always want to do Christmas in July or Christmas, no matter what month it is. I love doing Christmas. But I've got lots of um, paint parties coming up, and I want to, I like to paint a sample piece for the Christmas parties, um, so I'll have to do some Christmas. So I don't have a choice, Miss Crystal. I'm sure she'll watch the replay. 
And she'll go, oh my goodness, that girl's talking Christmas again. Okay, so let's get a second coat on this one. look okay down there. All right, we've now got these leaves base coated. Now the leaf that's missing, there was a leaf up here at the top and I just took it out to my bandsaw and because it was broken and just um, cut it off. tempted to take some of my paints with me on vacation. <laughs> I just get to missing it. I get, you know, if it's been a few days and I haven't gotten to paint, I just crave it. But I'm not sure if my hubby would appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to let that one dry on its own just a minute. We'll go ahead and um, get this one started. See that red and green close together instantly makes me think of Christmas. We rented an Airbnb in Laurel, and it's um, on a pond. It's got a big pond. They said the deer come up all the time. So I'm hoping we get to sit out on the deck and see some deer. We'll take um, a little bit darker green to shade these with, and then um, a little bit lighter green to highlight. is from splattering. So 
a little white specks. Okay, and I need to get a second coat of red. Okay, last base coat here. Still a little bit lit, wet. Let me dry it right quickly. Finish. Oh, I got one more up here. I didn't see that one. One more. Hi, Nancy. Yay. Well, Nancy, if you uh, up at, I think it's up the top right hand corner. You should see three little dots or a bell. If you will click on one of those and just hit on, I think it says all notifications, it will notify you when I go live. It'll just send you a little um, message stating that I'm going live. And if you're not already um, following, be sure that you hit that follow button so that it will also notify you of things. That way you'll get my posts and things in your feed. Alright, I'm going to switch to that little round again. Yeah, let's give it a dry. No, this was, Laura, this was a, hi Peggy, um, this was the first challenge I ever did with her two years ago, two or three years ago, but it, I believe it's still in there. I'm not sure what it's listed under, you might could put in flowers. But the one with the, um, the buffalo plaid down here, the way I did it, and with the red, it turned out really pretty. It's a nice, nice design, but it was one of her challenges for uh, on Southern Adornments. Okay, so let me grab a little bit larger round. I'm going to go ahead and get the flowers going. I guess we could, though, go ahead and highlight these leaves. 
let's highlight them in Hauser Light Green. So a little bit of highlight on that. And I will just use that shader that I was using. Let's see, which way do we want the light coming? Okay, we'll have the light coming at the top. You could also use a yellow uh, to highlight it with. Whoops, I had a little bit too much water there. Wipe some of it off. Just getting it a little moist. You can use um, blending gel if you prefer to do that. It'll work just the same. And this is just a little bit of water that I'm putting on. Typically I blend with a flat brush. But an angle brush works well too. This one's actually a little bit big. I'm just kind of making it work. Okay, so you can see these that on this side that have the highlights. Here are the ones that do not. So just that one little step really makes a difference. Okay, so we want it here. And we'll do it on this side. So I'm trying to, um, whoops, on this side. That one actually should have been on that side. So let me go ahead and Go over that and put the highlight on the other side because you kind of want the light all coming in the same direction. Oops, I got paint on me. And we'll go ahead and put it on side of this one. I 
Then I'll have a little bit of cleanup down here to do. Let that dry just a second, and then I'll come right back over it just to kind of darken it up a little bit. And it's coming from that side. Sit on this one. Okay, and then we will, I'm going to go around these just a little bit more in just a couple spots. And then we'll go with our dark. Make a couple of veins and our leaves will be done. And I did switch to the smaller angle brush for the second round. one you just don't want a real harsh line on it you want it just to kind of fade out just blend out Last one. With the light. All right, let's go through with some dark right quick. And for that, let's use Plantation Pine. I think that'll be dark enough. It's just a little bit darker than that um, avocado. Just enough to give it a shadow. All right, 
that. I'm going to have to add just a little bit of black to it. It's not quite as dark as I want it. So I'm going to add just a little bit of black. Not much. And just mix that in. That should. Okay, I think that'll get it. Yes. Okay, let's see if you can see the difference in that. See on the bottom, that the plantation pine by itself was not dark enough, so I just added one dot of black, and now we've got our shading on the bottom of it. And then we'll put our uh, vein going down it. with that plantation, I mean with the uh, mixture I've got here. Just gives it a little bit of um, dimension. It doesn't take a lot. Probably should have done this leaf on the opposite. I think I changed it. I think I had it the right way and then I changed it. But you know what? Nobody will ever know if you don't tell them. <laughs> darker. This is an extra step. You do not have to do this, but it really, really makes the piece stand out when you've got shading and highlighting. It goes pretty fast. But it sure defines those leaves. We had a young man at church yesterday. Um, he's out of college, so he's in his early 20s. But uh, last night was singing night at our congregation. One, one Wednesday a month, we have singing night. And we train the boys to lead singing and 
try new songs and um, he got up and led a beautiful song it was so pretty and um, I don't know what the name of it was but um, and he did an excellent job leading it but it was just so pretty I mean the melodical part of it was beautiful the words were beautiful and after he got down my husband said he wrote that song he said he's gonna have it published I just couldn't believe it it was just gorgeous I thought, boy we'll be seeing a lot of pretty things from uh, nice songs from you meaningful songs so it just was really really nice to see that our young people are very, very committed. Okay, so we've got that on there, and while I've still got that dark, I'm gonna take the liner brush. This one may be too big, let's see. And we'll do a few little veins. Just gonna take a small round, it's not really a liner. Kind of in between. Let's see if it works. Maybe a little bit too fat for what I'm wanting. But let's see. Okay, so we're just going to make us a few little veins here and there. Kathy and Miss Heather. Hi, Miss Jerry. Tammy. Thank you so much for hopping on. I really appreciate it. I'm a little bit quieter than normal. Tonight, I was telling the ladies in the beginning, I stayed up too late last night working on VBS stuff. But I was trying to get as much as I could done before... Um, we leave on our trip because I know it's going to be crunch time when I get back. So before I knew it, it was 3 o'clock this morning. That's too late for anybody to be up. I haven't done that in a long, long time. But I did get a lot done. And I'm feeling so much better about going now. And I'm just following the curve of the leaves. And just adding some little vines. Veins, not vines. Okay, so we've got our veins in there now. Go ahead and let's go ahead and um, shade our stripes. I couldn't think what I want to say. try it with um, this is bittersweet chocolate deco art and let's see what it looks like so I'm just getting a little bit of water a little bit of moisture
Still got glitter everywhere. Just going right underneath where the red and blue meet with that brown. Alright, and that kind of makes it look like that lip is coming over. Now let's do the same thing on the bottom. the lazy way, by the way, of doing the shading, just putting the water on it like that. But as long as it gets the same results, I'm fine with it. Probably better to use blending gel or blending medium. They're basically the same thing. They're both extenders. One's a little bit thicker than the other. It's about the only difference that I know of in them. Just really blend it out. Okay. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to go down the sides with it. Alright, I may do that later and I may come in here with some gray on the white. But let's go ahead and work on our flowers so that we can be sure and get what we need to get done on them. Okay, so I'm going to go with a um, sapphire, sapphire blue. I can't remember what I did, what I used. That was not shaking up real well. We'll see if it'll work. Okay, and so I'm going with just a little bit thicker round brush. And we're just going to come in and do some little comma strokes. All right, so let's kind of decide where we want our center to be. Get all the glitter off there. And just start making little strokes. Just in random places. I don't want them real lined up.
They're not all the same size. You could also make them wiggly like backwards and frontwards threes. And typically you're going to go with three or four different colors or two or three different colors on here, but I think we're going to be okay. with just the one contrasting. Okay, let's put some So many different ways you could do, you could make them look like actual hydrangeas in there uh, and you would be, you know, just fine with that. Now on the, let's see what this rock wood looks like on the red. I'll let that dry just a minute and then I'll, I'll hold it up for you. And then we'll do some gray in our white. Get this other rock wood. I haven't opened that one yet, so we'll wait on it. Could also go with a burgundy. All right, let's try this. If I don't like it, we can wipe it off right quick. It's going to be just fine. That's the Rockwood Red Deco Art. So far, everything I've used tonight, except for the white, is the Deco Art. Oops, let me get you over here. That one's a little bit older. I've had it for quite a while, and so it's got some little... What do I call paint boogers in it? I'm going to turn it just a little bit so I'm not putting my hand in it. Sandy. Okay, Heather, I sure will. Hi, Miss Christy. I get to see you in a few days in Mississippi. Next, actually a week. I'll get to see you next Thursday. Can't wait. And my little Nolan. Well, I guess he's not very little anymore. They grow up. I mean, when you go a few months without seeing them, they change so fast. And you could make these as large or small as you want to. Just depends on the look that you're wanting. And again, these are really pretty uh, with different alternating colors, but I'm just trying to kind of keep it with the patriotic theme, not getting too wild on the colors. And I will spray this one um, with a high gloss. Okay, 
And let's put some little dots. Just to give it a center. All right, let me look at it out from under this light. I'm going to try a little bit of the um, burgundy and see what that does. It's just a shade different. It's not, not real different. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there as well. Sometimes you just don't know until you get to doing it and look at it. And once you've been doing this a while, you will, your eye will get trained to know, oh, that needs something different. Or, Oops, that's too much. Or, Okay, I'm going to put some of this color dot in there. Whoops, I'm getting paint all over my white. Stuck my arm in it. Let me grab another baby wop. Baby wops are your best friend. We'll cover that up with the gray, so it'll be all right. Okay, let's get our gray on with the white one. I think to put a little bit of just a little with a smaller liner brush maybe some white in that not that one Some days with my arthritis in my hands, I can barely get the paint squeezed out of those bottles. Okay, let's see what we with just a little bit of white here and there. Just kind of some highlights. What do you think? Do you like the white in it?
not not a ton not as many as we have everywhere else just a hint here and there Okay, let's do some on the blue. Thank you, Gina. Hi, Barbara. Ellen is heading to sixth grade. Not sure if he will be with me. He's a big man making big money with his dad. Aww. It's hard when they grow up. All my older grandchildren now are working full-time jobs and going to school. And I miss that they can't just come to Grammys every, every time they want to. Anytime they want to. They used to just call and say, I want to come to your house. And I would go get them. Now they have, the bigger ones, have their own cars, own schedules. A couple of them called the other day and said, we're blocking out a week next month to come stay with you. Is that okay? I said, come on. You better believe it. Okay, now while I've got that white out, I'm going to go ahead and put take my liner brush here. I'm going to put some white stripes down. center of those red stripes. Just putting some wigglies, squigglies. Now let's get our gray. Let's start out with the gray sky. And then we may go with a little bit darker gray. We'll see. I love, love, love gray sky. I use it for so many things. Same thing on this one. Let me go ahead and draw these right quick while I'm thinking about it. All right, let's see how this gray does. I may need to go darker, we'll see. I think that'll be all right. This 
brush again is a very soft bristled brush it's very different than what I usually use so I have to learn to put the pressure on it the right way or it'll kind of fan out So what I'm trying to do is not just put them all in a row, but where there's a space in between them, I try to go that way to kind of pyramid them. Almost dipped in the red. This is the last one of these templates or blanks that I have. If you were going to put a second color on this one, can't do white, what color would you put? Would you put a second color? Could come in with a little bit of black. I don't know a pink with since it's patriotic red white and blue I'm not sure I would go with the pink I might go with a little bit darker um, gray just to give a little bit of a contrast let's try that and see what it does I don't want it a lot darker See if this is dark enough. That's too close to the same color. Let me go a little bit darker. Okay, we're going to go really dark. Let's go with the zinc and see what it does. I haven't used this one yet. And again, we won't put near as much. Whoops, I'm putting my hand in them again. And we'll just fix it with. Another color here. Now, if I were doing this just as a floral and not patriotic, yes, we could put several different colors. We could go purple. We could, we could just do anything with it. But since it's patriotic, it's trying to kind of stay with those color lines. Right, let's get 
some up here around the center. Okay, I think I better stop. All right, let's dry that right quick so I'm not dragging my hands through it again. I do see a little spot here that I need to clean up with some white. Now what I want to do, and what I thought about doing with this, but I did not have enough. What I was going to do was to, um, the glitter still everywhere, was to put 19 stars, um, 19 small stars, and two larger stars. To, um, for the victims of the shooting, but I did not have enough stars. So we're not going to do that, but if you do one of these or do something, you know, like that, you could definitely um, do that. So what I've done is painted three stars just to kind of space them out. And they're very glittery. I don't know if you can see that or not. They're very sparkly. Um, I did put glitter on them earlier. And that's why there's glitter everywhere. And once I spray it with the... Um, I put it on with Mod Podge. Once I spray it down with my spray sealer, they'll stick on even better. Okay, let me turn it around. Okay, what do you think, stars? Do you like the stars on there? A little closer up. I really like the, the leaves. The leaves really set it off. And then I'll have to clean up the edges, of course. But let's go ahead. Yes stars, no stars. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Dana. Peggy says yes. Nancy says yes. Okay, I think definitely the stars, so... Okay, so let me get my glue. I like to use this um, Stick Fast CA Thick Glue. It's a super glue. It will glue your fingers together. I know that from experience. <laughs> took me forever to get my fingers unglued. These three fingers were glued together yesterday before church. And I was trying to get them... All right, everybody says yes. Uh, I was trying to get them unglued before I went to church, and uh, it took me forever. It finally will, and I've, um, I used acetone fingernail polish remover, and um, that helps, but then something oily also helps. So I had some, I um, forgot what kind of oil I had. Maybe it was baby... No, it wasn't baby oil. I don't know what it was. Uh, but anyway, I used that. And so finally by church time, they were they were apart. But it was fun trying to get dressed for church with my fingers glued together. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to kind of center it, center it up with the flower center. And this stuff, I mean, once you put it on, press down, 
it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's done. It is not going to move. So you got to be real sure where you want to put it. Okay, I think we're good about right there. And it doesn't take much. I've been using this almost a year, and I use it on everything. The only bad thing is if you put it down in the wrong spot. So sad. Because it's done. <laughs> so I always try to look at something that I can align it with before I put it down. come in here and shade a little bit of gray. I'm going to have to look at it a little bit before I make up my mind um, if I'm going to do that or not. <sighs> Got to brush all the glitter off before I seal it. Uh, I'll show you something else that I was working on last night. I don't think she follows me, so I don't think she'll see this, but it's a surprise for one of my... Um, family members that, that is a teacher. But let's go ahead and hold this one up. Let me get you pulled back up here. Whoops, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> My Archon's been coming untightened and falling. Okay, so here's this. And then I may do some red, white, and bead uh, or something or a bow, I'm not sure, for the, the hanger. Not pretty. You could even put um, USA across the bottom or across here. Um, there's just several different things that you could add to it. Now that light's bright. Okay, and then here, I know it's going to be backwards. I don't know how to turn it around. Let me see. No, that's not what I wanted. It doesn't give me a spot to turn it around here. I was going to try to flip it for you, but I don't have, don't have it. But, look cute. It says Miss Coleman. That's my first big pencil to do. So I just sat and drew it out on some um, poster board. Get back here. <laughs> On some poster board and uh, just worked on the, the colors but um, so she teaches elementary so I'm hoping hoping that she likes this for her door she's very young I think this year was her first year to actually teach um, but so that's gonna be a surprise for her probably won't get to give it to her until um, until the baby's born I probably won't see her until then but, um, here again is the way that I put my staples on I glue a little wood piece these are hearts so I glue with that that glue that I just showed you I glue the hearts on and then I staple it in that way this is very thin it's that revolution plywood quarter inch and by doing it that way it does not go through the wood at all so I did stain the back of it and I did uh, go ahead and do it with a gloss uh, gloss finish spray so I'm hoping that she's gonna like that I have so many projects that I have gotten over the last two weeks that um, I may be on here every day next month. <laughs> I don't know. But I've got a lot I've got to get done, and I'm just going to start hopping on here and just letting you do it with me. And um, let me get back over here to our comments. Hi, Carol. It has been a while. Thank you. All right, let me get you back up here. Uh, the letters on the pencil, 
they are 3D. I mean, they are wood cutouts from uh, Hobby Lobby. They come in a package of, I don't know how many. There. Let me see. I think I've got the package right here. Let me grab it. Yes, I do. Okay, here's the package, and they're hanging over by the big wood letters, in our Hobby Lobby anyway, and they, um, this is a package of 60, so it's all different letters, and a lot of times the letters you use a lot, I have to get, go get it, two packages, because they're not like the L's, I'm always running out of L's, but it tells you on the back what all it's got in it, they've got different fonts, this font is typewriter font that I used on that, and I just painted them and then glued them on. And I keep them in an ice tray that, that just fit in my little drawers that I have over here. So I have them in alphabetical order. Um, you could also use the, um, I'm not sure what you call them. Uh, these dividers these are really good as well I've got all of my um, little beads and things in these but you could also put the letters in there but I like the ice I just had the ice trays um, they were somebody was throwing them away here they came in something we had gotten and I said don't throw that away I can use that and it just slides right in my drawer so um, I've also got the little scrabble type pieces in there so it works out great I really enjoy it and I, I am not, I am just not good at hand lettering. I'm getting better, but I like the 3D. You, know, um, you can see that they're, you know, raised on there a little bit. And they're very easy to paint. So I just cheat and go get the ones that are already done. Um, but I do some hand lettering. I do some on there, uh, on, on some things. But typically I will go and get the the little wooden ones and they're uh 449 for a package of 60 uh at hobby lobby you might could even order them online i'm not sure every now and then i'll get one that the tip is broken off or i see a couple in here that uh are splitting but you know you're gonna get that no matter what okay ladies i think that's it for tonight look at all of you on here throw me some hearts if you enjoyed it um, I enjoyed it. I missed you. I was, it just seems like so long in between. Now, the last thing I have to do on this is I'll probably will go through and maybe shade that white, but then I need to go around and paint the, uh, the edges or with a marker, just clean up the edges a little bit, uh, and decide what kind of hanger I'm going to put on it. But, um, if anybody is interested in it, this one, I'm trying to think how much I paid for it. I paid over, I paid like $23 for it, something like that, $23.24. So this one uh, will be $35 plus shipping and handling. So if anybody is interested in it, the first one to comment sold will be the one that will get it. All right. Okay, thank you. Uh, I've just retired, so I hope I get back to paint. Oh, I hope you do too, and congratulations on retiring. I've been retired now for a little over a year, and absolutely love it. You know, this is my job now, and I don't feel like I'm ever going to work. It's I just love it so much. But thank you all. We had a lot on here tonight, a lot of good comments. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it, and I will get back to I may hop on here tomorrow. I don't know. I've got quite a bit going on, trying to get packed and finished up, but um, I want to, but I just don't know if I'm going to have time. But if not, as soon as we get back from vacation, I will start hopping on here a little bit more. And I will do some posts while we're on vacation. I'm sure we'll run into some good deals. You know, Christy's got everything. <laughs> everything worked out. You know, Thursday, I think we're meeting Thursday. Is that right, Christy? And um, I don't know what we're going to do yet. But there's a lot of shops around there we can, we can hit up or we can just go eat somewhere. We'll find out when, we, when I get there. All right. Thanks so much for hopping on. Y'all mean so much to me. Don't forget to pray for everything that's going on right now. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just a time to pray. 
Uh, and a lot of people say, well, all we can do is pray. No, the best we can do is pray. Uh, God, God hurts when we hurt. You know, as much as we love those families and love our babies and, you know, love our families and, and children, God loves them more than we could ever think about loving them. So when we hurt, he hurts. All right, y'all. Love you all. Thank you so, so much for hopping on. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.